So here is the situation. Yesterday evening when I went to bed, I was like, okay, tomorrow morning I just wake up, I do the laundry and then we go and do something fun for the whole day because today is actually like the first day when I don't really have to do anything and I don't have to be anywhere. So I wake up in the morning and it was raining all the night and also all the morning. So, well, laundry is cancelled. I don't have a dryer. I don't use a dryer and I don't like to use a dryer. So here, if you don't use the dryer, you just don't do laundry when it's raining. So here, normally in winter, when it's raining and it's extremely humid and you don't use the dryer then it's just never going to dry like you know over here you kind of do the laundry when you have the opportunity to do the laundry and not when you have to do the laundry and normally when it rains on the azores one of the good options where to go is Furnash because there is always something to do in Furnash and I think it's just a good place for a rainy day like either you go to the thermal spas or you just like hang around in the city um, like there are stuff to do. Here on the Azores you cannot just stay at home and wait around until the weather gets good. This is not how things work here because otherwise you're just going to stay at home all the day and you end up doing nothing. But today it's even raining a lot for Furnash so we need to come up with a plan B or we need to wait for a little bit. The other day I was passing through the town. I did not stop but I saw that also here the Christmas decoration is already up. And there is a very cute town near Furnash which I like a lot. It's just very cute and peaceful. This is something what uh, I was planning to do. It's always like this over here. You just need to wait for a little bit and then the rain is gone. By the way, this 
park is extremely beautiful. I love it and there is something really cute I show you now. There is basically a small little like thermal pool. Also here it's so interesting because you're just like walking on a sidewalk and you see the sidewalk just like randomly bubbling. So yesterday evening I was here in the town because I wanted to see whether the Christmas decoration is already lit up but uh, it was not. I guess they are going to do it in the following days or at least when I saw the schedule for most of the places they are doing it either on the 1st of December or then the following uh, week. But here they kind of decorated the caldera and it's extremely nice so we go there. This actually is kind of really pretty. Let's drive to this uh, other village. I think it's like a 15 minute drive. In the summer I go there a lot and I also love the roads there. Over summer it's amazing, it's just all blooming with flowers and it just looks very peaceful. But there is another attraction on the way and uh, it's not possible to stop there but we are going to go through two tunnels. If you are ever going to take this road from Furnash to this little village then you are going to cross two tunnels. between the two tunnels just look on the right side and there is going to be an amazing waterfall. I'm going to insert a picture here or a video because I have it somewhere in my phone. <laughs> This beach is amazing in summer because they really take care also of the beach. The waves are not big so if you want to swim in summer that's like a perfect place. Yeah, I like this village a lot. Also in summer, it's quite calm. It's never too many people over here and it's super nice for walks because uh, the beach, which is uh, over there, is connected uh, with like a kind of a sidewalk, you know, to the port, which is on the other side of the village. And also in summer, the views from the port are amazing. I think I also have a video of that from last summer, so I'm going to try to find it.